What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the stream. All right. So yeah, I had to apologize for not having streamed yesterday because I had like a billion different medical tests done: MRI, CAT scan, bone scan, all sorts of fun stuff done, and it, it kind of took its toll on me. There, I had like a what I call like a medical crash at the end of the day, where I just kind of passed out, like literally for a couple hours. I had to get up at like crack of dawn. So I got my like, MRI report back, and basically everything that I thought was going on was indeed going on. Uh, my back is far worse than it was May of last year when I had my last MRI done. So basically I can take it, my next surgeon's appointment, because I'm seeing a different surgeon now. These, these guys like, yeah, you need a fusion. Take my results to the other, the other surgeon who's like, you don't need a fusion. Your back doesn't go bad that fast. and just basically tell him to suck it. <laughs> But anyway, enough about my back problems, because I can talk about that all day long and bore everybody to tears. We're going to be playing some classic Super Nintendo games. And definitely, uh, the one that I've 
had on my mind before and haven't played in a while is Blackthorn. Uh, I'm going to be playing the Super Nintendo version. I am aware there is a like a 32x version, things like that, but but I just want to play the version that I own. I own myself. I actually own this on cart. Uh, my friend Patrick was very awesome. He was able to find this actually for me uh, because where he lives in the country, they have a lot of retro conventions and stores and things like that. They actually sell things at reasonable prices, unlike where I live. So. He's like, hey, I'm going to this convention, you know, if you want, like, you let me know, like, two months in advance, like, I'm going to this retro convention, you know, if there's any games you want me to pick up, give me the money for it and the list of games, and, yeah, I just wrote down Blackthorn, I didn't think he was going to actually find it, and he found a copy of it, and he picked it up for me, I was within my budget, so I was like, sweet, so, I like this game a lot, I think people may have messed out, like, missed out on it, it kind of reminds me a lot of, kind of like, um, Flashback. But not nearly as clunky or slow. At least as I remember it not being as clunky or slow. Uh, but this game is, is a lot of fun. You you run around, you have a shotgun, it's got infinite ammo. And basically you're trying to free your people. So let's go through, I think... 9x is the best one. I just want to make sure that it's displaying in the right format. Nothing bugs me more like when you turn into a stream and somebody's playing a game in the incorrect format. It's like either 16 by 9 stretched, it looks like garbage, or completely off. So this looks okay so far. Let's stretch out the screen, fill all of OBS. Yeah, this looks about the right resolution, so that's good. We'll stick with it. Options, music and sound, okay. This was made by Blizzard back before they had the whole Diablo thing going for them. And Overwatch and what other things you can think of. So, you have, like I said, infinite shotgun. You're kind of slow to walk. But it's cool is that you do have, like, a no-look sh shot. You just hit the Y button, fires backwards. X talks to people. A puts away your gun. If you're ducking, and you press forward, you can roll. But the big thing about this game is you press up, you can duck up. Like, you can fade into the background. You will need to do this because you will come across enemies, pardon me, who will shoot you. And uh, if you do this, you can pop out and then blast them and then come back into it. I remember, I mean, I haven't played this game in quite some time. Like, I got, like, I played my Super Nintendo cart when I got it. But, I mean, like, the last time I seriously sat through and played through the game, like, from start to finish was probably, I want to say, almost 20 years ago. It was back on an emulator, just like I'm playing right now, because I don't have my Super Nintendo hooked up. But I will be, though. I just, like, just got news today that my RetroTank 2X finally got shipped. I ordered this way back in, like, October. And it finally got shipped today. So when I get that, I will be doing actual console streams with my actual Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn. I am looking forward to that. Uh, even 3DO. So I am hyped up for that. So when you jump, it's kind of like out of this world. You have a set amount where I've kind of like flashback to the same thing. Now this game, you can't jump until you put away your, your gun. Then you can jump. I don't think I have a run. Nope, I do have a run. Okay. It's Y. Run, hold Y on the controller. Direction you want to run. Whee! 
by like you need to run the jump. Hover bomb, city inventory select. Okay. Okay. X on the controller. Sweet. Dodge up on the D-pad. Yep, know about that already, I remember that. Controller, discover other actions, ride an elevator up and down. I think that's pretty much the gist of what I need to know. So we're going to start up a full game. And of course, if anybody's lurking out there, if the audio needs to be readjusted, either the game volume brought up or lowered or whatever, please let me know. game. All right. Let's do it. Sarlacc's keep deep in the heart of Toll. I really wonder how these games would have handled if they had put, like, the FX chip in for them, which would have cost more money for the developers, so they usually didn't. Especially games like Flashback really needed it. What is your bidding, sire? King Lavaros makes his last stand tonight at Stone Fist. Order a full attack and leave no survivors. Okay, devil. And bring me the light stone. I command it. Go now. south of the borderlands pretty good pretty well animated farewell my son I mean, it looks really good for a Super Nintendo game I mean you don't really think a lot of Super Nintendo games doing animation like this Remember that day well. My father's last words forever echoing in my mind. Kyle, my son, you must take the light stone and hide among the earthlings. Guard it with your life, for if it should fall into Sarlacc's evil hands, all will be lost. The time you will grow strong, and Sunday will return the toll to fulfill your destiny. That was 20 years ago. I didn't train. I've gained a lot of weight. I'm a professional eater. I work for the Best Buy Geek Squad. Perhaps nobody was picking you up because you had a shotgun there at the draw. Just saying. Just just a random hit why, you know, people now pick you up while hitchhiking in the middle of the desert at night. Now here's the thing, you got these guys right here. Save yourself while there's still time. You can shoot them. As far as I can tell, there's no penalty for doing so, and I have done so accidentally multiple times. Pardon me, that last one was intentional. Could it be? Are you the chosen one? And you don't free them, you just leave them here in a crucifixion pose to slowly die of suff suffocation. Because presumably they'd be eventually too tired to 
stand. Ugh. Okay. Boom, shakalaka. Later on, that gets really tricky with the timing because they'll do like two quick shots and one third that's delayed to throw you off your timing, so you gotta be careful with it. Okay, nothing over here. Oh no! And fall damage is the thing. Things to keep in mind. Hey dude, what's up? Free at last, take this potion, brother. Uh, did you free the other people who were hanging earlier, or did you just leave them there? Thank you, friend. So, like, everybody in this universe apparently looks like roadies for some kind of rock and roll band. He dropped a bomb. Yep. So, if you may be wondering, you can't use bombs while you have the shotgun out, so you have to put it away. I think this gives me my first password. Yep, it does. FBWC. To escape bombs, it is better to avoid them than to be nimble. Thank you! Oh my god! It's, like I said, it's so weird. You can kill the people who are being held captive that you're supposed to be freeing who have been enslaved, but you can't free them. You, have, you, can, you can shoot them in the face and kill them, but you can't cut them down. do I have just one I usually find it it's better to like roll into the next screen with the shotgun because sometimes like you can get the drop on a guy instantly and just blow him away if, instead of having to do the ducking game like where you hide back in the shadows You got to say some waterfalls have patches patches passages behind them look closely heal potion okay cool Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm not sure if the shotgun will drop this guy or not, but since he gave me a hit about a bomb, I figured that'd probably be the way to go. Bridge key. Thank you. I will take that bomb. Oops. You're very committed to your moves in this game. It's kind of like the original Tomb Raider. Like, not, not the 2013 version, but I'm talking like the 1996 version, I think it came out. Where it's kind of square grid-based. It's like, if you take a step, you're committed to that step. Still nothing. <laughs> yeah, see, so you're like, you're very, very committed to your, your controls and your movement in this game, but it's not bad. I mean, like, the biggest problem I had with uh, Flashback, other than, like, the second level gets insanely hard, is, like, the movement on that game, because, like, the game needed a Super FX chip and they didn't put it in there, it was like the frame it was really terrible it eats so many of your inputs and this game is pretty solid I mean like if you don't make a move it's pretty much because it's your fault want the if you want to escape blow out the power generator with this bomb thank you friend how does he give me okay how did you hand me that bomb unless you're holding your hands here because you're going nowhere like this guy here big giant head skeleton Laser fields keep us trapped. It is hopeless. I'm not gonna risk trying to jump because I'm pretty sure that the fall damage would kill me from that height. I slip something into his rations. He's out cold. Cool. Another bomb. Security field's functional. Okay. Can I make you unfunctional with a bomb? Yes, I can. Okay. Password. Okay, let's write this down just in case I need it. QP7R. Some waterfalls have passages. Look behind them. Yeah, I 
Another guy I already told that. If I can, yep. I have no idea if this is actually damaging it or not. Yeah, it's probably just better to roll underneath it. <laughs> okay, so. My question is, like, does it explode because I shot it from behind, or is it just, like, so many shots just wore it out? Hmm. I shall have to experiment. steal a levitator how about like only if you could free yourself from like being chained up I would take that more oh, oh four shots oh. he tricked me I think it's another bridge key yeah That seems like it'd probably be a fatal drop. Let's go back up. Oh, that's right. There's something behind the waterfall. my shotgun to go into okay excuse me I'm just gonna steal your stuff thank you where are you going I want to talk to you free at last take this potion brother thank you friend I come back and the guys remove the key <laughs> why did you do that Sir Lock. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, so I need to go down another level and destroy the generator up here. Okay, so don't push it. Let's use one of these heal potions. There we go. Well, I could get by the laser fields. I agree. Someday our people will be free. How about today? Have you thought about today? Let's say I don't want them to die. There we go. He might have something valuable. Nope. Okay. So he w he could have died. No problem. <laughs> it's like I tried to stop, but momentum. So let's test my theory. So one hit behind. No, it appears to be multiple hits. Oh, 
course. My cat was dreaming about something. She was like rapidly licking her lips in her sleep. I had to stop and look at her like, what are you doing? That guy's gonna die. I'm just afraid, like, when these guys, because they, they're clear line of sight, like, so this guy's gonna get shot. I just want to make sure I'm, like, missing on some kind of thing that can help me. You have bombs. But I need this guy to turn around. Walk back from the ledge. You can do it. I believe in you, dude. I'm going to reset the room here in a second. Okay, so let's try leaving the room. No, he's still there. He's not phased by that either. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, can I grab the ledge from here? No, it walks me off. Okay, cool. That's the hover bomb I was hoping to get. Guns are heavily armored but can be destroyed. Yes, I have figured that out already. Thank you. He had, he had more? Wow, he had two of them. dead you don't have to keep working i know you're trying to be employee of the month of all phil but i mean you're just looking like a suck up at this point see i thought i was just gonna fall down one ledge not all the way down and zap myself
There we go. Okay, so now the... Oh. Whoops, crap. <laughs> I was thinking, like, run, and I forgot I had my shotgun out. Uh, yeah, my bad. So now the door up here will be open, but there's gonna be, like, two guys for me to fight. Whoa, I almost went rolling off the edge. That would have been real bad. Please let me make that and not fall and die. Free from the duties. Free from the duties of this storm room. Thank you, friend. I don't know, I've seen your other friends. I think I'd rather be in charge of a storm room versus being just, you know, tortured slowly. These items will aid you in your quest, please take them. I will use them wisely. Okay, you're in the way now. Thank you. Okay, nothing beyond the waterfall. Just wanted to double check. I go up, I go down. I go up, I go down. I go up, I go down. I waste bombs. Oops. I don't think there's anything back here that I missed. No. They do. Okay, here's probably where I need to use it. Yep. I just thought of something. I'm like, hmm, I'm playing this on emulator. What things do I have? Yeah, 
it looks all the same pretty much as far as I can tell. Alright, Galadriel waits for you in the upper catacombs. Take this potion to aid you. Okay, so it's the upper catacombs, but I'm going down. I won't question your logic. face if only I could escape uh, your chances now do not see or hear the deafening explosion of where I blew up that guy who was keeping you captive. Oh wow, right here next to a bad guy. Okay. WJTV. Thinking, huh, maybe I can get the drop on him. Nope. Oh. Okay, looks like I need another one of those extenders up here. It's a living. Okay, what do you got to say? Have you seen my brothers? They are hiding. Cryptic metaphors. Hmm, that thing does not look good. Not good. All right, good. I've I've learned that. How many bombs do I have? Just one. So hungry. Oh, <laughs> sucks to be you, dude. Sorry. See ya. So remember, you also get like an upgrade to your shotgun. Basically, you start firing faster, if I remember correctly. I think it goes both stronger and shoots faster, but of course, you fight like tougher enemies as soon as you get it, so you don't get to kind of abuse it. Okay, so I know that that's a trigger. You can skip it by not stepping on it. Pro strat skills. Let's be the chosen one. Take this potion. Thank you. I'd rather have your explosives, or... Yes, he's working the mine. The brother, thank you. Take this key. Thank you, friend. All I can think of when you keep saying friend is like... B. Arthur singing and closing the bar in the Star Wars holiday special. Goodbye, friends! Which really proves that the Empire truly is evil. Because if you've never seen the Star Wars holiday special, one, thank God, I mean, don't, unless you're watching Rift version, and even then, it's still pretty bad. But, uh, 
the Empire comes on and tells everybody in the Empire, like the entire thing, like, everyone must watch this broadcast. You know, the Emperor commands it. And then it's like, we go to we go to Tatooine to show you how terrible their lives are in order to make you feel better. It's like a quote just along those same lines. Then it goes to a like a bar where B. Arthur is like B. Arthur from Golden Girls is is tending bar. And she's been ordered by the Empire to close it down, so then she starts and no one leaves, so she starts singing a song which convinces everybody to leave her bar. And at the same, so while we're being tortured with this song, while she's going around singing and Harvey Corman is the alien, aliens trying to seduce her, he's a giant big hole in his head. The Empire is literally forcing everyone in the entire planets and all the systems to watch it. That is evil. I mean, hats off to the dark side for that. I mean, that's brilliant. Okay, you're in my way, dude. To do a. All right, I'm sorry, dude. You gotta die. It's like, unless you... You're in the way. You're stopping my progress. So hungry. All right, so I haven't used any of these yet, but I'm going to use one right now. I'm just gonna use a save state, just in case this kills me. Okay, it did not. Perfect. So I'm like, I really hate to put in the password and go back just because that of a buff jump. I tried to hit up. It did not work. Yeah, so only you could steal one, but I stole it first. Thank you for your continued life of intent of a in pardon me. Thank you for your continued life of indentured servitude. Thanks, game. Try to run. This is where I can use the levitator. Really, game? Really? I can't believe that. Weird, wouldn't let me do that before. Of 
Word travels fast that your deeds to defeat Sarlacc. Take this weapon, friend. The stole from the guard is more powerful than what you are carrying. Sweet! Yeah, so here's the upgraded shotgun. I'll remember those that helped in Sarlacc's defeat. Farewell. Yeah, so you can shoot a lot faster now, like rapid fire. But back is still one shot. I mean, it's still faster, but a lot better. That makes it more tolerable instead of to do the one shot and you know duck and hide. to take that guy on, so nuts to that. Stupid game. <laughs> I swear, it's like, as I'm saying, like, yeah, a lot of times, you know, the game doesn't, like, eat inputs, and, and sometimes it does, it's just based on, you know, because it's a 30 frames per second game, it appears. So you do have points where you can try to hit jump, and you may miss it. Especially if it's, like, more complex of a move, like running and jumping. Like right there, I tried to do. I tried to run and jump, but it didn't take the run input. Continue! But where will it continue from? Oh crap. All the way back here, so safety. Wait, didn't? I thought these guys gave me the elevator. Still not gonna give me nothing? Nope. Okay. Game delayed on it. 
So it's like, if it doesn't complete the animation, you won't do the move. So, other things you have to, like, really be careful about. But once you start the move, however, you appear to be, have, like, move invincibility or frame invincibility. So, that's good. Shotgun. Shall save state. Curse Arlac. Yes, I agree. Curse him. Curses! Special key that I do not have. Okay. the draw kept this guy alive i hope you have something so hungry no you do not have anything for me okay It seemed like the arc's like, no, we're gonna stop you just short here and make you fall straight down. That was funny. Okay, at least these pits are not like suicide pits. You know, like you miss a jump, you're going to die, but... Let's see, where did I go? Here I am. Yeah, but I still got him. Really? I'm risking my life for you guys and you don't give me anything? Okay, so that must be the key that I needed before. Make that jump, okay.
Yeah, I have a feeling this guy's gonna kick my butt. Lots of goodies if I can get to them, though. Okay, got nothing. Yes, okay. Flying bomb and that. Okay, so nothing here. <gasps> wow, doors kill apparently, good to know. Right at the beginning level, oh. Sorry if I can beat him to the draw. The answer is no. So, I did want to play the game all night long. I did want to play something else, too. That game is another game that starts with B. Should have it, I hope. Hmm, okay, so I need to figure out where it's at. It's not underneath the bees. Ah, it's gonna be in the S's, okay. No wonder I wasn't looking in the right place. There we go, Super Off-Road the Baja. Uh, this was like technically a sequel kind of to Super Off-Road, but it's kind of unique in that it's like it's a Mode 7 scroller behind your car. So let's do this update. Okay, stream update, inf stream information is updated. Good, good, good. And saying yes. Weird, okay. <laughs> it's like put me back in Blackthorn for a second. <laughs>
Now this is a game like that my brother and sister and I had rented as kids, and we really liked it a lot. It was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. I'm sure it probably hasn't aged as well, but the yeah, local store like didn't have it there. We like went to like a Toys R Us. They're like, yeah, we can order the game for you. We'll let you know when it's in stock. And they just like never got it in. We keep asking, like, can you order it for us? Like, oh no, we have it. We have it in the system. We'll let you know when it comes in. You know, it never came in. They were just like jerking us around. It was like, pain in the butt. So I never got to own this uh, when I was a kid. But then fast forward to being an adult many years later, I think it was about four or five years ago when I started collecting for Super Nintendo again. Uh, this is one of the first games I definitely went and bought. Hmm. So the work thing does work. I have no idea what Fun Run is. For these crazy jumps, I try to like build like tank. Let's see how fast I can get through it. Ivan's Fun Run. I just figured, like, let's look up a cheat, because I've never looked up anything like that before and see what it's like. Now, for some reason, you're running these courses, and you have people on ATVs there, and you can run them over and kill them, but it deducts from your score. I think it's like $5,000 you have to pay for murdering somebody. Yeah. 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 You hear that quite a lot in this game. Yeah. 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 $3,000, okay. Yeah, so it's only $3,000 to murder somebody in Mexico, so just remember that if you ever get caught murdering somebody, $3,000, bucks, you are off the hook. I don't think a judge would convict you anyway. I mean, they're like, really? It was on an ATV? You guys are running around and these big hunkers off-road things? What was he doing? Try being colorblind, it's even worse. It's like, oh my god, where am I at? It's the same guy, why are you charging me twice for his death? Where's the finish line? Now you also have like a, a damage meter too, so like the more damage you take, like even on jumps and stuff, will increase it. Oh, so close, second. Seventy-three thousand dollars, though, not bad. That's all it is. Okay, interesting. Someone's like, uh, I've never seen, like I said, I've never seen a code for this before. So I'm like, huh, okay.
W O R. Now, I was also a huge fan of Super Off Road. Uh, there was a. Oops, when I was a kid, I did bowling on Saturdays, like bowling league as a kid. And one of the reasons why I did that was um, arcade games. Because got done bowling, got to play the arcade games they had there. And the uh, bowling alley actually had the three player with wheels setup, a super off road. Or I think it may have just been called off road. I can't remember exactly what it was, but. That game was fun as hell to play. Super Nintendo version, I remember it being fun still, but not as fun. I mean, because that steering wheel and, and the brake and the gas and everything really makes it. But uh, this game I definitely enjoy. I remember having fun with. So you have like these different races, like the Mexico 250. It's uh, to 500. So I think like the Mexico 250 is only like two races. Baja 1000 is like the full thousand mile of the Baja Peninsula in Mexico, which takes a while to run. You have like different, like you have the one course in the start, and then you get like some that are partially paved and off, and then some races take place at night. Uh, you're, if I remember correctly, you're also timed. So when you complete a race, uh, you also need to do things like repairs. You can buy shocks to basically reduce down the damage, more nitro so you can go faster, uh, better tires, engines, so forth. So you gotta like you have to do that as fast as you can because you're being timed. Start slow until you get the hang of it, then you can use your nitros to go faster. Thanks, Jim Gaff again. I'll do that. I don't know if it's like for you guys, but it's hard for me. It's always been hard for me to see the road from the grass on this level because I am green colorblind, so. I just don't know if that's just me or just the way they designed the, the color palette for this game. Oh, jeez, I am hitting everything. a little wonky at points. Nitro's left. Oh, just missed the nitro. Stinks. I'm taking a lot of damage, however. making out in the middle of the race. Not the best idea. It's 
See, rubber banding is like a real problem in this game, too. And I'm dead. Yep, stop, just get out of your car and stamp your feet, dude. like tree stumps and logs are like big humongous killers to your engine especially early in this game where you don't have like any type of improvements whatsoever on your car yet Saw he swerved from my car. No self-defense. Yeah. Really? The guy hit me from behind, spun me out. That's another good, like, kind of interesting thing about this game, too, is, like, races tend to be pretty long. Ooh, that was major damage. They're not very short. I mean, they got some good distance to them. Okay, just gotta kind of lame it out. There we go. Fourth place. I always remember though, like when I'm playing this game, like especially the first race, because you have like nothing to your car, you take an absurd amount of damage, even for like not hitting things. Just like going over jumps and landing still damages your car. Buy shocks to protect your truck from damage, then buy nitros and engine for speed. All right, so shocks. More nitros, the better. All right, here we go. Brakes, never use them. So I remember this one starting off on paved, and then you got like a lot of jumps right into people. Oh, 
oh, knocked out of the way. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm right on the path for that nitro. And bumps are smashed right off. I mean, like, the CPU will just bully the hell out of you like it's doing right there, smashing yeah. me off the path. Smash from behind, pushed me right almost off the road. Still taking a lot of damage, like I said, just from like people smashing into me. Pretty sure they don't let people with ATVs on these type of races. Pretty sure. When we play two player in this game, it goes split screen. Which can get pretty hectic. Did from damage. I said that is like the biggest problem with this game is you take damage. Even like I had almost full shocks, you still just get absolutely destroyed. All right, I think I'm gonna play one more game. this real quick. I know a way I can cheat it. Alright, so here we go. Give me a second. I need to get something. I'll be right back. Hang tight.
All right, I am back. Just getting something set up real quick. Basically, whenever you want to do, like, a retro arc, it's kind of tricky to, like, switch your controllers, pretty much, like, from player one to player two. But if you happen to have two Xbox 360 controllers, like I do, one's a bunch of crap, my brother beat the hell in back, plug it in, and I'll read it as controller two. Like so. Okay, now this is interesting. It's not- I'm supposed to have like a complete and total version, like ROM set list. It doesn't have the game in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, they didn't use the Roman numerals. That's what threw me off. I'm like, what the hell? It's like, how's it a complete ROM set? It doesn't have this one game. Okay. So, back to the scene. Road Rash 3. I love this game. Uh, it seems that like a lot of people like number 2 the best, but I, th I liked 3 a whole, whole lot. Yeah, I've had like the most fun with this game. Uh, it's another one of those games that I went out of my way to get complete in box, which is not too hard for the second Genesis getting complete in box games. Uh, because, you know, unlike the Nintendo, uh, which use like cardboard boxes which tend to get destroyed and everything else pretty easily you know genesis sega wisely went with like hard plastic clamshells which last forever so it's i'm glad they did that he neglected genesis road rash game And because, like, basically it's like my hands are kind of worn out. And I don't think anyone's watching anyway, so hello. If anyone is lurking, you're welcome to lurk. But uh, I'm just going to try a cheat here, just if, just to mess around with it, just to have some fun stuff. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. I don't even need the second controller for that. After all that whole thing about needing the second controller... Not even required. Found some passwords. We will do the password way. All right, let's. Whoa, let's, we're not doing Othello on Master System. Not sure how that got moved out of the way, but we'll go back to it. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Rainbow Three is actually a real fun game. I'm going to do like a underrated, underappreciated. That's not the one I want. See, this core, like, uh, is it here? Yeah, so the Genesis Plus GX core I am not a fan of because it does not display the Genesis correctly, the right aspect ratio. But the Pico Drive, however, does. It displays it in 4x3. The other one, I'm not sure what it is, but it's not the right setting. This game's kind of interesting that like you can have music, or you can have bike sounds, like engine sounds, but you can't have both. I guess they didn't figure out how to program for the two sound chips where they could have easily done that in the Genesis, but it's a weird quirk to the game. Let's, see, let's make a note here. By the way, if anyone's lurking, if they have any ideas for games for me to play, make them. Uh, it's not a guarantee that I will play them, but I'm always looking for things to play on stream, so any suggestions are welcome. If you look below my stream window right now, you should actually see, like, what games do I own, and it contains a link right to my v uh, Video Games Collector VG Collect webpage. You can see exactly what I have. You can request something off of there, too. Let's see. Appreciated Genesis games.
three, etc. Okay. Just making a note to myself. Okay. Yeah, so you have sound. So if you put the music off, then you have the engines on. I'm not sure if this is a zero or an F, probably a zero or an O. Password invalid, okay. Probably a zero then. Why would you lie to me, you jerks? Oh, it's no wonder. That explains everything. It's game facts. You don't have to have, like, correct facts. That's what I hate about game facts. It's like, nothing is verified on this website. It's like, you have, like, the most insane lies on this web- on this page. It's like, anybody can patch, like, whatever they wanted into it, like, and, and nobody double-checks it. There's no standards or anything for that website. Let's try this. That guy's going in on the double base. Password A valid. Okay, cool. So it goes password invalid to password A valid. Go figure. Solo. All right. So you can select your track or not or hit the wrong button. Here we go. I like the UK because it's got like a lot of jumps. Kenya's pretty flat. Yes, they're not kidding about like drivers taking creating like driving laws and suggestions in Italy. Italy, trust me. All right, so 5.4 miles. Let's do it. So I put in a cheat for. I forgot to do it. Oh no, after all that nonsense, I gotta restart. I am so smart. SMRT. Alright, this time without screwing up, remember to select the bike you put the password in for. That might help speed things up. Not really a might, more of a will situation, really. Okay. Select bike.
Here we go. So, first level races, but with like the most fastest bike ever. I remember there was a code also for like a Diablo bike too, which is like just be fully, absolutely insane. That that bike was crazy. I didn't see the code anywhere for it, but I remember it was in a GamePro magazine of all places. So let's select track. Go back to the UK. Let's rock it. Let's center this to the screen, first of all. There we go. No longer crooked. Load state. Bike shop. Other things you must do. Upgrades. Tires. Performance. Suspension. There we go. Now we're ready to rock. So I'm thinking, oh man, I am just drifting all over the place. Let's well, just, we'll do Brazil. We'll go in order. Plus, I've these races. Oh no, it's the whistle from Super Mario RPG, Frogger Kisses, or whatever. Yeah, it was Frogger, Frogger Kisses theme, I think it was. It had like that whistle. Now, with Road Rash 3, what was kind of interesting is that you have to remember, like, what side of the road they drive on different parts of the world because certain countries drive on the left, certain countries drive on the right. Yeah, the Diablo bike, if I remember correctly, would go over, like, 200 miles an hour. I mean, I'm already doing, like, about 170 on average. I mean, in this game, it would fly. Especially, like, quite literally get, like, levels like Italy and the UK. Because I remember the UK having, like, a lot of ramps and stuff. I mean, and you just, like, spend a lot of time just, like, you'd actually leave the screen just about by flying, going off a ramp. You get so much air off of it. I've played the other Road Rashes. I played number one. I played Road Rash two. I said a lot of people seem to really enjoy Road Rash two, but three for me I just felt like the best one overall. I mean, the graphics are are choppy, but your brain kind of like forgets about it not too long. It's not a smooth thirty. It's probably like a good yeah air like that. I love that. It's probably like fifteen frames a second type deal. But I mean, but it's the racing is still pretty solid. You can't argue with it. thousand dollars thank goodness yeah Diablo is what I have I remember that there was something else though it was like it was even crazier but it also put you on like level five of the game too so it's like you were So you like you were like playing against the hardest races and the longest ones as well, but it was pretty cool. All right, UK. Do do do. do. Punch of people. Also kick. Pop. Go off the road yourself because you're not paying attention. This music always reminds me like this level parts remind me kind of like of Battle Toads almost. Like that did it did it. That's guitar rift fill right here. 
Now, if you get knocked off your bike, especially when you're going, like, the faster bikes like I'm cheating and using right now, it's like you have to run back to your bike. So depending on, like, how far you go flying, you may be running for quite some time. And, of course, the longer you're off your bike, the more chances that everyone has to pass you. Uh, also, chances that cops can also pick up on you, too, because there are eventually motorcycle cops... Uh, and also squad cars as well. And I think later on there's helicopters too. And if you get busted, there's a fine. It's not too bad, but I mean, it's like, it's still things you don't want to encounter. So I like this game a lot. I also liked Road Rash 3D on the PlayStation. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. And it's really cool when you listen to the soundtrack. You look at it, like all the bands that are on it are like or bands basically before they started to hit it big like Kid Rock when he was still a nobody, uh, Sugar Ray before they blew up and turned into like with their song Fly and then went to soccer mom music style. We're talking like Lemonade and Brownies days, which if you didn't know, Sugar Ray used to be really hardcore music, and then uh, they figured out that like if they went kind of sold out their style to be more soccer mom friendly kind of soccer mom music is like the only way I can describe it. It's like that that's where their audience was and that's what they changed to in order to make the money and it worked. I mean gangbusters. Which is also at the same time equally hilarious because I have a friend of mine she went to a Sugar Ray concert and she had no idea about their old original style. Like, she was like, she just knew them for like the, when it's over, that's about the time I fall in love again. You know, like, but sung correctly and in key and not horribly like I did. But she only knew about that music. So I'm like, okay, let me know if they play some of their old stuff. She's like, what do you mean by their old stuff? I'm like, you'll know. So <laughs> I ask her, she's like, yes, they play the old stuff. I know exactly what you're talking about now. And nobody was amused. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, people are plugging their ears. And so I sent her, like, the song Mean Machine. I'm like, did they play this? She's like, that's what they opened with. I'm like, oh, that is great. So if you've never heard the song before, Mean Machine by Sugar Ray, give it a listen to. It's before they hit it big with Fly and changed their style. So she told me that they did, like, half was the old stuff and then half, like, was the, the new Soccer Mom stuff. All right, Germany, Deutschland. Now you can also pick up weapons from these guys like chains, uh, oil cans, which I always found like the, were the most useless thing ever. You can get like a club. The chain is always, I always love the chain. So one of the things I want to do, like I was making a note before I started playing today, like playing this game and the multiple resets as I kept screwing up everything, is uh, I bought a RetroTink 2X line doubler for like a hundred bucks. I ordered it back in October, just about like very late October. It's supposed to be shipped out by December. They just now shipped it today. I got the notification and tracking number. So when I get that, that means I'll actually be able to play games like this, because I own this physically, uh, on stream. I right now have like a, a component, or actually a composite uh, upscaler. It's real garbage. Everything looks like crap. So I am really excited to do the Retro Tank 2X, because I also have the HD Retro Vision cables, so everything's going to look a lot better. Uh, so I'm excited to do that. I'll also be doing, basically playing out some streams where I play some Super Nintendo games, uh, Sega Genesis games as well. And basically, like, for the Genesis, we'll be playing probably this again, just for fun. And uh, games you may not have heard of. Like a Hidden Gems type deal. Oh, crap. Come on, get up. And back we go. I mean, fortunately, though, because I'm... <laughs> I feel like everyone's max speed on their bikes at this point. It's like 90 miles an hour, 90 miles, 100 miles an hour. And I'm doing, like, 170. Not really in too much danger of somebody catching up to me at this point, but... But yeah, the, the retro tank I am excited for. Oops. 
just so I can do like those retro streams. Uh, it also means I'd have a way to do Xbox original games. Oh jeez, I was so close to the finish line I wrecked, I can't believe it. But Metal Wolf Chaos will definitely be played. Now, Metal Wolf Chaos is a game that's actually being remastered uh, by Devolver Digital, and they announced it at E3. They said it was coming 2018, and of course, nothing happened either. Same thing for my friend Pedro, which I've been waiting to hear anything about. Like new gameplay screens, videos, demo, anything, it's silent. And now they updated and said, well, it's going to be 2019. It's like, okay, well, what's going on with the game? People want to play these things. People want to play Metal Wolf Chaos. They, they've heard of how crazy this game is, and it is. Absolutely bonkers. So, I'm looking forward to, like I said, being able to stream and, and not have it look like garbage. Because I can stream my original Xbox right now, but, like, the $20 little upscaler thing I have from Amazon, just, it's god-awful. It's embarrassing. I don't even bother with it. It just looks so... So terrible. It's like worse than RF signal. For like quality wise. It's just, it's embarrassingly bad. See, car stop. I've never seen that before. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm busted. <laughs> busted and run over. Ouch. Jeez it. Oh. Dog got me. Bad dog. Oh, Mia. I thought you were bad out of H-E double hockey sticks. 200 bucks? Oh, man. I don't know if I can afford that with the cheat I put in. I say, almost wipe out again. Perfect. Yeah, so, like I said, Retro Tank, excited for it. HD Retrovision cables, by the way, if you own a Sega Genesis, and if you can pass the, like, if your TV can display, like, the test, like, they have, like, a way for you to check to see if your TV supports their cables, because not everyone does, apparently. Uh, definitely get them for the Sega Genesis. They are worth the money. It is, like, shocking how good the Genesis looks with those things. Like, even on, like, the TV itself, I mean, they tell you, like, it's not an upscale, but... I mean, these cables are, are freaking fantastic. The Super Nintendo, I own the Super Nintendo ones, too. And Super Nintendo, not as impressive, I have to say. It's, it looks still looks good. Looks better than just the yellow, red, white. But, I mean, if you can't do, like, RGB out, it's the best way to do it. But the, the Sega Genesis is, like, amazing... Like, the difference is just mind-blowing. So I'm hoping, like, I can plug in, like, do a cable swap when I get my retro tank just to show you, like, the differences. Like, okay, here's the standard RCA yellow, red, white cables, and then put in the HD retrovision cables just to show you what the difference is. It's, it's amazing. Like, I didn't know that, like, Genesis games could look that good. Should be coming up pretty soon on the end of the race. Here we go. Sweet! Alright, didn't get busted that time. Good. Alright, Kenya. Now this game only has like the five tracks, but when you go up in levels, of course, not only do enemy difficulty go up, like they're more aggressive, 
uh, you get better bikes overall, but also like the races become a lot longer too. So I remember like, I think it was like level three at that point. The races are lasting like 10 miles just about. You play it enough, you start to recognize like certain tracks where certain things are. It's like I remember in the UK, like knowing exactly where all the jumps were. So I don't just hit them, just go flying ridiculously far. Whoa. Okay, so this is where you run into a problem. So I've crashed. I need to run back to my bike. The game automatically runs for you. So I am now in sixth place and counting. you for passing me how dare you so the other thing I'm really excited for too is I can do Sega Gen not Sega Genesis but uh, Sega Saturn streams too because I like to like I said I want to have everything look good I played Sega Saturn before on stream it just looked too bad I mean it was it was frustrating me to play it through the crappy converter I had but now I can play games that will look even better because basically it's like a $15 adapter that they sell with the Genesis versions of the cable. Uh, you can also get them to like work on your Neo Geo if you happen to have an AES system. I own an MVS so and if you own AES congratulations because those are pretty rare. Expensive I mean they're very expensive to collect for. But that means like with, with the Sega Saturn that I can play games that don't emulate well because when I do a Saturn stream I do emulation and you're kind of at the mercy of that. But that means I can play Deep Fear. Deep Fear is like Resident Evil, but you're in an underwater base with monsters and you have limited air supply and rooms. It's great. Unfortunately, for what I've played on emulators, it doesn't work well. Like, you'll be running into a room and it'll be really bright, like the sun exploded. Pardon me. Or you get this, like, ear piercing shriek audio glitch through the line. So. I am looking forward to playing Deep Fear on stream through an actual Sega Saturn. I am so excited. Alright, so now we're at level 2. Pause it real quick. Uh, options. Just curious to see what he'll do. Doesn't appear to be doing a lot. Oh, okay, there we go. Neat. So you can overclock the, the chip in emulation and I now have better frame rate. That is insane. It's a little janky. <laughs> I mean, the game's not used to it. That's pretty awesome. So it's like Road Rash 3D and like 60 frames. Road Rash 3 and 60 frames per second. But you don't control nearly as well. So let's try kicking it down to 50. Okay, that control is a little bit better now. So I'm getting better frames and a little bit better control. That's good. Yeah, so like now we're on level two, so these guys have faster bikes, so they're able to keep up easier with me. I mean, I'm in first place still, but they're still on my tail. Wow, this is amazing. I didn't know it was like, it was literally like a processor limiter on the game. I just thought that they intentionally programmed it for 15 just to make it easier. I had no idea. That is so cool. I 
every once in a while you'll get screwed over like you'll have a car coming at you like you know you'll, you'll be coming up on one you need to pass and then you'll have another one coming directly at you and uh, just basically blocking the entire road doesn't happen too often but it can happen you can also get hit by that cross traffic too that's another rare thing that doesn't happen too often That's where the first ending uh, fish line is. Normally, I just passed it. I ran over the guy standing in the road. But yeah, this is so awesome. Like I said, I had no idea that... that I've, I've, I don't really play a whole lot of Genesis games on Retroarch, so I didn't know that this core you could actually overclock. And that it would have that effect on this game of all games. That's pretty sweet. And I got an ear itch, of course. So almost eight miles for that. Okay, cool. I am the best. BST. Oh no, it didn't work right. Hate it when this happens. Like you try to do it there, and it's just like, nope, we're not. OBS is like, screw you. We're not gonna play what you've told us to play. We don't feel like doing it. There we go. So thanks for hanging out if anybody did hang out. No idea. It seems like lately, like the last few streams, that nobody's bothered to show up. And, that, you know, that happens. Sometimes you have some really great streams just by yourself, and you never know what people are going to watch in or drop in on, but that's fine. So thanks for hanging out if anybody was lurking. I do appreciate it. I do stream about every single day, just about, usually, uh, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know when that is, just type it into Google, and it will tell you. Uh, also, you can follow me on Worsel555, and it looks like right now the chat's actually broken, so there we go. Now it seemed to work that time, so chat may have been messing up. People may have been saying something I really don't know, and I apologize if that's the case and if I missed your message. Uh, but you can follow me on Twitter at Worsel555. You don't have to follow me directly, but you can bookmark the page if you're curious. Uh, because I usually post up there like within a couple hours before a stream if I'm going to be streaming and usually what I'm going to be playing or kind of a hint to it. Uh, also, if I need to like cancel the stream or start at a different time, I'll post it there as well so you're not left in the lurch like wondering when it is I'm going to be streaming. So hopefully be back tomorrow again streaming. Have an idea of what I might play. It's, I had an idea of doing it today. I, I wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, but unfortunately, with the weather it is, my hands are, are not really cooperating too well with the arthritis. So we're going to give it a shot tomorrow. I'm crossing my fingers I'll be able to do it. It'll be a lot of fun. It's a game I have not played in some time due to my health. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for hanging out, and hopefully I'll see you guys somebody tomorrow.